In September of 2009, El Cerrito's own Contra Costa Civic Theater proudly celebrated its 50th anniversary season. The theater company was founded in 1959 by El Cerrito residents Louie and Betty Ann Flynn, along with a group of about 30 other local volunteers with a shared dream of offering quality live theater for the entire family. From its original home in a former movie theater at Blake Street and San Pablo Avenue, now the site of Atlas Liquor Store, CCCT offered a full season of four to six productions a year, as well as classes and performances for children through their unique pocket theater program. In its inaugural season, CCCT featured eight plays, raising the curtain for the very first time on February 5, 1960, with a staging of Norman Krasna's wartime comedy, Dear Ruth. Other plays that year included Harvey and Louis Flynn's own screwball comedy, The Orchid Sandwich. In 1962, CCCT produced its very first musical, the classic High Button Shoes. But in 1968, the building housing the theater was sold, and CCCT was forced to take its show on the road, operating out of the auditorium at Harding Elementary School from 1969 to 1970, as plans were developed for a more permanent location. With a unique combination of drive, personality, and vision, Betty Ann Flynn was able to convince the city of El Cerrito to let CCCT take over the former site of the El Cerrito Boys Club at Pomona Avenue and Mosier Lane. An agreement was reached to lease the property to CCCT at the cost of $1 per year. Fans of the local theater company sprang into action, raising funds and developing community support to renovate the somewhat dilapidated building, a task performed by predominantly volunteer labor over the next nine months. The Contra Costa Civic Theater unveiled its new permanent 199-seat home on July 23, 1971, with an inventive staging of Woody Allen's hilarious Play It Again, Sam. Musicals returned in 1973 with My Fair Lady. By 1978, the El Cerrito City Council had renamed the theater the Flynn Building. And in 1991, in honor of their tireless contributions to their city's culture and community, Louis and Betty Ann Flynn were proudly inducted onto the El Cerrito Wall of Fame. Since its founding, CCCT has continued to enjoy broad community support via seasoned subscribers, volunteers, and community groups, as well as local merchants who generously provide a wide variety of in-kind goods and services. Recognizing the value of the performing arts in a thriving community, the city of El Cerrito itself has also pitched in from time to time providing valuable financial support. CCCT continues to evolve artistically. In 1989, the company started Summer Drama Day Camp, which complements its year-round live at CCCT and Musical Juniors, classes for young people in musical theater, voice, and dance. Today, Matt Flynn, Kathleen Flynn Ray, and her children, Alex and Maureen, are carrying on the Senior Flynn's dream of providing quality community theater for a loyal and appreciative audience. They are joined by a professional CCCT board, artistic director Derek Silva, and a management team, all focused not only on the day-to-day -day running of the theater, but also on long-range plans that will ensure continued success for this not-for-profit creative enterprise. After 50 years, we're proud to say that community support is stronger than ever. Please read about our latest productions and learn how you can support CCCT by logging on to www.ccct.org or calling 510-524-9012.